Hello, everybody. I want to welcome you to another educative and entertaining edition of Family Talk. My name is Islamia Ayaba Kadijo. And like you know, I have a special guest today and she will be joining us soon. Uh, I have a best, uh, I have a guest. She's in our green room and she'll be coming on board soon. This is more like strictly ladies affair not just ladies affair again if you narrow it down strictly natural hair gang uh, that today is about natural hair gang and we have an expert in the house she is the founder and the ceo of natural black and beautiful uh in person of ruth she'll be joining me joining me soon there is lockdown natural hair we have our issues with edges we have our issues with dryness we have skip moisturizing and all of that but in dealing with it being able to go to our hairdressers to salon goes a long way they know better they can do you know they they can do different hairstyles that will keep us going and know encourage us since there's no our is not permed and all that. But now that we cannot leave home, now that I have to, I have to keep social distance between myself and my hairdresser, even my neighbor, what happens to our natural hair? That is what we are going to be looking at, at today. That's what we are going to be talking about today. But men, don't worry. Don't feel like, okay, I don't need to watch. You still need to stay tuned and watch because your wife may not be able to join us you need to watch this you need to be part of this you so that you can understand what is all this natural hair thing about we are going to be having a chit chat and it promises to be a very interesting edition so stay tuned as i welcome uh roots uh, akutu akutu makadi into uh kadi tv live on family talk with islamia hello hello islamia hey baby hello Hello, I can adjust now. Very okay. well. I can hear you. It's good to have you. Let me let me adjust myself so you can you can see me well in the video. How are you? Properly. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I'm thank good. You for How me. do you do? How do you do? Yeah. Too? Thank you for being. Here. Thank you for being here. I'm trying yeah. to adjust as well. Just yeah. Mm. Like this. Okay. 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 We are good. Exactly. I can still have very long hair. I'll try not to be jealous. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, I keep natural hair too, but I struggle. Like it's 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 a daily struggle, <laughs> and now I miss my hair so much. I can't even do anything without her. I don't know how to do anything without her. You know, okay. so I I say kudos to you for for keeping it up. Can you Thank introduce you. yourself? Uh, our friends would like to know you more. Yes, my name is Ruth McCarthy. Um, I'm a Ghanaian, born in Ghana and uh, grew up in Italy and I'm currently in Italy. I am the founder of Natural Black and Beautiful, 
which is um, a platform that has the aim to show women and also men how to take care of their natural hair and their skin. Uh, personally, I use most I use um, natural products because I have a very delicate skin. I'm allergic to chemicals and I have skin issues, so I tend to use natural things. But on the platform, Natural Black and Beautiful, we also have uh, wonderful NBB ambassadors who are YouTubers who are weekly and daily showing videos on how to take care of how they take care of their natural hair. So we share their videos on all natural black and beautiful platforms on Facebook, Facebook group and uh, Instagram. Okay, that is so good. Well done. Thank how, you. Let me ask, how, how, how are you keeping in Italy? I know it's kind of more serious than anywhere, apart from US anyway. Are you good? Are you safe? Yes, we are safe. You know, once you, you stay at home, you are safe. So most of the population is just obeying the laws and staying at home and trying to, you know, when you even when you go out for shopping and maybe for a medical issue, we try to keep social distance in order to avoid transmitting of the of the virus. Uh, it looks like we we now got to the to the mm -hmm. peak of the evolution. So it seems like we are going down. So we just keep on praying for the best and praying for all the doctors and nurses that are working. Doing great work there. Yeah. Yeah. Now to we ladies with the, the natural hair gang. This time <laughs> that we cannot go out. If you'd like to like okay one two three what advice can you give us? Like we have our issues, like one of the issues I have is, okay, I don't even know, apart from fixing daughter's hair, I don't know how to fix, uh, do any hairstyle on myself. I, I am not that good. I don't have a clue. And mm -hmm. again, you know, leaving my hair untidy, just no hairstyle and all that, it can be so frustrating. Mm -hmm. So for people like me and many others, like my friends, many of your friends as well, what this lockdown that we cannot go out what do you advise me well my first advice is that first of all this is a great opportunity to begin to know your own hair because as you rightly said uh most of we african ladies especially our ladies in africa we are used to going to the salon to hair our hair to have our hair washed, to have our hair styled. So in a situation like yeah. this, we might find it a little bit difficult, but this is the great moment. This is the great opportunity to learn uh, how to take care of your hair and how to style your hair. Actually, as you can see, I'm carrying a very simple style that I did myself. It's just a twist. Okay. So nothing so special. Okay. It's just a twist that I then put in a, in a, in a poof. And so twists are very, very easy. Braids. Braids is a style that almost 80% of African women know how to do. So that is also a style. At this moment, I would advise you okay. to keep Keep styles that will maintain your hair and prevent it from from breaking you know and at the same time there are a lot of informations on internet on how to take care of our hair apart from styling it how to take care of it how to do deep condition how to shampoo how to do protein treatment how to strengthen our hair how to make our hair to be to be shiny to be glossy there are a lot of information on internet and especially like on natural black and beautiful we have more than 1400 videos that are posted we have more than 2,000 written posts that explain step by step into details how to take care of your hair and how to solve some issues. So this is an opportunity to know much more. And it will also help us later after the lockdown. We are going to, you know, we are not going to spend much money again in hair, with hairdressers because yeah. we have learned how to take care of our, of our hair. I think the last time... I think the last time I went to hairdresser was in uh, 2015, and that was because what I had my hair say? completely cut off. Wow. wow. Yeah, and that, that was that's... the only reason. Wow. Talking about information on the internet, you know, it comes with the kind of hair you have. And we mm -hmm. have different kind of hair. Some mm -hmm. maybe cranky, some dry hair, some, you know, Various, can you talk about types of hair then? With my own hair type, 
how do I know which information on YouTube on uh, natural and beautiful that would be good for me? That'd be good for my hair. You know, that is yeah. usually my fear. You know, we, we have information everywhere. But yeah. what kind of info, without speaking to an expert like you, what kind of information we can I make good use of that will be good enough for me? Yeah, this question is very easy and very difficult at the same time. Because as you said, each and every one of us is, is made in a unique way. We are all different. My hair is different from your hair, which is different from the millions of women's hair that are around this globe. So it is very yeah. difficult to ad identify a single product that will work for everybody. That's impossible. What works for me? My hair likes coconut oil. Maybe your hair doesn't like coconut oil. But the most important thing for each lady is to know what is your hair porosity. That's just the base. It doesn't really, it matters what type of curl you have. If it's a tight curl or a loose curl, it matters. But it matters more to know what is your hair porosity. Hair porosity is the capacity of your hair to absorb water and to keep it inside. So we have people that have low porosity hair, high porosity, and medium porosity hair. Those who have medium, they are a little bit in a safe place, you know, because um, either they do one thing or the other, it could work perfectly. But those who have high porosity hair, for example, they should know that after doing their washing, it's important for them to use cold water in order to retain moisture. Those who have High, low porosity hair like me should know that if you use cold water on your hair, it's going to dry up. It's going to be very dry. So the first information I want to give women is research on what is your uh, porosity. Just go on net and search, how do I know my hair porosity? There are various tests you can do, very simple tests. Home. One is you take a cup of water with uh, uh, room temperature water and you drop a strand of your clean hair in it. If it floats at the top, it means you are low porosity. If it goes down to the bottom of the cup, it means you are high porosity. So based on that, you can research, for example, uh, high porosity, how to moisturize my hair. I have many ladies that write me and say, my hair is dry. And we know that when our hair is dry, it breaks, right? So even though our hair keeps growing, we don't see the growth because it keeps breaking. And the first thing I ask these ladies is, what is your hair porosity? Because if I don't know your hair porosity, mm -hmm. there is no way I can help you because maybe it's not a problem of the product you are using, but the products, the problem is what the method you are using. Because if you have low porosity and use cold water to wash your hair, you can use anything you want after that, even a product that costs 50 euro or 50,000 naira or cities, but your hair will still remain dry. So ladies, know what is your hair porosity. Okay, hey, thank you so much uh, for, for that. Yeah. I will need to go and research that. I don't know my hair poros porosity <laughs> at all. Well, uh, on the, another issue is the edges. I think most people, most women I know the, it is not even about the hair not growing, the hair not being strong, but the edges just keep falling off, like, yeah, like, like that. Yeah, so it's true. What, what, what are the causes mm -hmm. of this mm -hmm. edges issue? Then, what is the way out? Yeah, the first cause I might say it is uh, traction alopecia. Traction alopecia is uh, unfortunately the follicles on the edges that get damaged because of hairstyles that are too tight. So because the hairstyle is too tight, the follicles on the edges, which are more delicate com uh, compared to follicles on the rest of our hair, they tend to pull out. So when you do a, a hairstyle once and it pulls out, it grows back. You do it again, it pulls out, it tries to grow back. After some time, the hair follicle on the edges, it gets completely damage and when it's damaged it is damaged permanently i mean there is nothing you can do there is no magic products you can put on it there is no magic products you can eat there is no uh, vitamin you can eat that is going to make the hair to grow back again so the first reason is wow. styles that are too 
tight. Avoid braids that are too tight. Avoid uh, Kiko styles that are, I mean, even the puff, a simple puff could be too tight on the edges, you know. So let's try to leave our edges out when we are doing styles. Okay, Th thank you so much. That is uh, that is good to know. Now, yeah. talking about being at home now, can you take us through the routine, simple, basic routine that that we can keep, at least to keep our hair moisturized to prevent breakage and and all of that? Yeah, the first thing is our hair loves water. I know most African women, we don't like what we don't like spring water on our hair, especially on our natural mm -hmm. hair, because it tends to, to shrink back, you know, so we, we like not mm -hmm. to add water, but our hair needs water. Our hair is like a garden where there are flowers. If you don't water it, it will dry. So we need to be watering our hair to be most in between wash days. If you wash your hair once a week or once every two weeks or once every three weeks in between those wash days, try to be moisturizing your hair. And the first ingredient is always water. Put the water in a, in a container, in a spraying bottle. You don't need to spray a lot. Your hair doesn't need to be drenched wet. Just just damp. Spray it on your hair. If you have low porosity, is warm water then you go ahead and apply your oil your butter or your grease whatever products then you apply it and that will maintain your hair soft throughout the day and the second um, tip is to deep condition we have to learn to deep condition every time you wash your hair we need to deep condition because we have a type of hair that dries up very quickly. But if we deep condition, our hair will receive all the nutrients that it needs to, to, to resist the next wash day. Okay, can you take us through the deep condition? Because for some people watching, it might just be a new vocabulary. Can you yeah. break that down? Yeah, we have two types of deep condition. You can just go to the market and buy and buy the products. Uh, almost all hair brands, they have their deep condition. So you wouldn't see it because it is clearly written on the bottle, deep condition. Yeah. Yeah. So you can buy that after you just go, when you go back home, you shampoo your hair and after the shampoo, you deep condition. So it's, it's practically a mask you put all over your hair. You make sure you cover, you coat all your hair. Then you cover your hair with a plastic bag and with something else, a bonnet to keep it warm for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Read the label on the bottle. It is for each one is written how long you have to keep it. Then when that moment has passed, you just wash, you rinse it out using only water. Then you go ahead and apply your leave-in conditioner or your butter or your oil. Personally, as I said, I don't use bottled products because I'm allergic. So I normally go to the second way of producing my own uh, deep condition, which is made with natural products. So a basic one I do is uh, I use a very ripe avocado or a very ripe banana. And then I mix it with honey, which is an humectant. Humectant means that it attracts the moisture that is in the atmosphere inside my hair so that it will keep my hair soft. Then I can add other things like extra virgin olive oil, like coconut oil, like castor oil, in order to make it uh, rich. Uh, if you have the opportunity to have more uh, rich uh, ingredients like chebe powder, like uh, moringa powder they are very very rich they are like fenugreek powder you can add them uh, for those who want to try this uh, do it yourself i would advise to start with simple ingredients you know simple recipe in order to understand if okay this works for my hair or not mm -hmm. for example there are some natural things that don't work for me so even though they are natural I don't use them. Uh, for example, the oil my, my hair loves so much is castor oil. I have it over here just to show you. This is the castor oil that my hair loves so much. So this is this oil is like a miracle for me. I use it to pre poo I add it to my shea butter, and uh, I can't stay without it. To shampoo, I use um, I use African black soap. 
There are many of us that we use wrong products to shampoo our hair. We use products that are rather damaging our hair or our scalp. In Africa, we have so many good products and African black soap is one of them. This is the type that I use. It's the African black soap, the one that is known in Nigeria as uh, Ghana soap. I don't use the duo soon because it's drying and it has chemicals in it. So these are some of some of the things and this is the meaning of deep condition. Okay, thank you so much for that very detailed explanation. You said the last time you were at the salon was 2015. That yes. was unbelievable. How <laughs> did how 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 can that be? Well, well, let me say that. Maybe, sorry, if after the lockdown, I said, oh, I want to now stop going to salon, where do we start from? Well, as I said, uh, it wasn't difficult for me because in Italy, it's not like in Africa. We don't have many salons for black people and for our type of hair. So most of us, when we get here, we learn how to do our hair. So even when I had relaxed hair, I was doing it in the house. My mom used to do it for me. When I went natural in 2011, I started a journey of self-discovering my natural hair. The first time I saw my natural hair, I was like, what am I going to do with this? I had absolutely no idea. And what I did is I took my phone and went online. I went online and I started surfing on blogs, on YouTube, on Google, learning. I wasn't, I wasn't just looking for pictures. I was looking for articles that were written. And that's, that's the one thing I want to give as an advice to all the women who wants to begin to do their own hair. They shouldn't be, be, they shouldn't be looking for pictures of women with long natural hair. No, they should be looking for those posts and yeah. articles that explains into details. I know we don't like reading. We don't like reading. We <laughs> like to watch tutorials. We like to see pictures yeah. of you know women with wonderful hair and begin to ask them, what is your secret? What is that secret ingredient? Yeah. But there is nothing like secret. Your hair is different from, your, from her hair. So what works for her might be a terrible thing for you. But we have to learn mm -hmm. to read search for articles and read. As I said, the first thing to know is what is your hair porosity. Then learn how to moisturize your hair. Then learn how to deep condition. Then learn what is a protein treatment because once a while, every two months, I need to do a protein treatment. If not, my hair will begin to break. Uh, I, I need to know how do I correctly style my hair based on my type or the type of curl that I have. If I have 4C curls, which is a very tight curl, I wouldn't expect my hair to be like the lady who has loose curls. The style would never be uh, would never be the same. I have to learn that when I'm going to sleep, I have to wear a bonnet. Let me show you. This is a satin bonnet that I use to sleep okay. at night. So inside is completely made of satin. So this protects my hair during the night because if I spray my hair with water and then put on the leave-in conditioner. Then I go to bed on the pillow case that which is on satin. It will absorb all the oil and water in my hair and it will be like I didn't do anything. I mean, the informations are so many that really there is no single podcast or no single article or no single video that can explain everything. That's why you need to take your time and research. Okay. Can we quickly talk about the protein treatment, please? Uh, the protein, our hair is, uh, our hair shaft is covered with protein. So we need to be eating protein so that our our body can send the protein through the vessels to the hair. And then once a while, we also need to do a protein treatment. The protein treatment is made, we, you can make it, you can just go to the market and buy one, okay? As I said, just for like the, the deep condition, all the brands, they have, the, the 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 bottle they have the container they have the treatment for protein mask so you can just buy it or if you want to do your own like for example what i do is lately i discovered um a, a product called spirulina algae which is an algae that grows in the sea so i buy the powder and that is very rich in protein but if you want a more simple one you can just get mayonnaise 
mayonnaise that we eat and we use it to make salad that is full of proteins you can, or you can use egg egg you add a few uh, ounces of uh, lemon juice so that it will break the protein in it and you apply it on your hair the only thing to know about protein treatment is that you do it after you shampoo and after you do the protein treatment you are forced to do the deep condition because the protein treatment will strengthen your hair so much but it will also become hard so if you do don't do a deep condition your hair is going to break so it's important to do a deep condition after the protein treatment so that your hair will be strengthened, yes, but soft at the same time. Okay. How often should we do the protein treatment? That depends on your hair porosity. That depends on your oh. hair porosity. With those who have wow. high, high porosity will need to be doing the protein treatment more often, like even every, every four to six weeks. Those of us that have low porosity hair, for example, I do protein treatment like every five months. I could do it only twice in a year. You understand? So it depends from your hair porosity. That's why it's important to know what is your hair porosity. Okay. Then you, you talk, you showed us a, a certain cap the other time, just a few minutes ago. Is it comp does that mean we have to cover our hair when we go to bed? Is it like yeah, we there, must do that? No, there are various ways you can do. Like, I love using bonnets, okay, but you can also mm -hmm. use a satin scarf that you use it to cover your hair. But there are some people who don't like cover their hair when they are going to sleep. So what they can do is to get a satin pillowcase. So your head is resting on a satin pillowcase and, and it's just like wearing a bonnet. Okay. Now I think the for, for many people with issues of growth, why won't hair grow? After watching tutorial, after reading, after moisturizing it, doing all of that, but the hair won't just, it won't break. It won't grow if we just remain like that. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the truth is that most of the ladies who are complaining that their hair is not growing is not true. They think their hair is not breaking, but it is breaking. Because um, there are situations whereby people have uh, follicles problems. And that is a sickness which makes their hair not to grow. But the percentage of people is really, really very small. You understand? Most of the women have hair that is growing, even though we all have different hair growth. We have the average is one inch per month. So we are talking of really small quantity. That's the average. So it means we have people that can grow less than that. And we have people that can grow more than that. But the truth is that most of us, our hair is breaking. It's breaking off because we don't moisturize it well. It's breaking off because we don't shampoo um, the correct way and frequently. I know ladies who wash their hair every eight weeks. That's cannot be you you can't wait eight weeks before you wash your scalp and your hair it's like leaving your face for eight weeks without washing it how do we expect it to be it's going to be terrible our scalp is the same and the hair breaks because people don't do protein treatments the hair breaks because you have low porosity hair but you are using cold water to wash your hair which is not good for low porosity mm. hair the hair is breaking because they don't do trimming you know we need to be trimming our hair, which is which means to cut the ends of our hair when it is needed. When it has split ends, you have to cut it. If not, the split will just you know uh, grow and then be cutting. Then another reason is we don't comb our hair the correct way. I've seen many ladies telling me when I comb my hair, I have lots of hair coming out. How are you combing it? I'm combing it dry. That is wrong. Never comb your hair when it is dry because it's going to break off. Always apply, I comb my hair only once in a week and that is when on wash day, full stop. Then after that, I don't touch my hair the whole of the week till next wash day, you understand? And when I comb it, I do it after I pre pulled So my hair is soft and ready to be combed and I comb it the correct way. I took a, a big tooth comb. I don't use fine tooth comb. I take a section of my hair, then I start combing it from the tip, 
gently, then going closer to my roots. I don't just pull the comb right from the roots and begin to drag it. No, that would just make your hair to 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 break, and that will affect also the edges. So women, most of us, ninety percent of our of us, our hair grows, but we have to learn how to take care of it in order to retain that length. That length. Talking about combing, I don't comb my hair dry, but I wet it, spray it, moisturize, but I comb like bring everything forward, then use comb to like bring it like, like that. But yet there's no time I comb my hair that I won't freak out like, okay, this is too much hair being lost again. Is yeah. there, is there, even though I don't comb, comb dry, why am I still losing hair every time I comb? Because you are combing it the right, the wrong way. As I said, you never have to start. Um, I've seen many ladies, many African ladies, combing the hair from the back, coming to the front. But the truth is that you need to section your hair. Like I have tightly curled hair. If I, I should comb the way you are doing within two weeks, two weeks, I'll be without hair. <laughs> so wow. section, section your hair. Like I divide my hair in eight sections. Then I took a white tooth comb and I began to comb it gradually, starting from the ends, okay? I start from the ends, then gradually go towards the roots of my hair. Yes, yeah. using a white tooth comb. I don't use a, 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 a comb that has... Is the comb you are talking about to show us? No, I don't have it here. I have it in in my in in, in the in the restroom, unfortunately. But we we all know it is though it, there are those big combs with white tooth. It's not fine because the fine white your hair is going to break. Then we have to the lesser we comb our hair, the better it is. It's better to put your hair in a protective style, like as I said, twist or braids or even the one we all know, the African trade. This is an African thread. I believe you also, we have it in most parts of Africa. And this is what I also use to thread my hair after I wash it. So I put, I, I installed this style and it's still till the following week that I have to wash it. So there is no way in between the weeks I'm going to comb my hair and have lots of unnecessary um, breakage. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, Ruth. Now, enough of questions from me. Let's take a few questions from our friends uh, so that we can, you can attend to them as well. I have first question coming from uh, Iyabo Shogunle, and she's asking, how can flaws on the hair be treated? What is uh, flaws, if I may ask? I, I don't know that either. Sister so Iyabo, me... what do you mean by flaws on the hair, please? Yeah, can you explain to explain us. That, please. Please, you can send in your questions now so that I can read them out for Ruth to address them before we let her rest for the day. A classy lady D is saying, uh, giving us some hairstyles like twist, braids, and corn rolls. Okay? I think those are the styles we can, we need to learn to do. On exactly. Our own. And your Misho Demu is a man anyway, and he's saying, although we we are oh, maybe it's dandruff. I think personal hair care for us matter as well. How do we call hair with this lockdown? Okay, let's let's um kind of modify that to ladies with low cut hair. You know, if, if ladies who wear low cuts, how do they take care yeah. of their hair during this time? The same way, the same way as um a lady with a if, with a long hair or medium hair should take care of their of their hair. So shampoo when it's needed which could be once a week or once every two weeks or once every three weeks uh, deep condition because even though you have a low cut your hair you still have hair and maybe you want that hair to retain length and grow so you need to deep condition do your protein treatment and in between wash days moisturize your hair with water and your cream or your shea butter for example i love using shea butter and this is the shea butter that i use is a mix of shea butter and several oils, uh, peppermint, essential oil, and uh, and waters. Vegetable glycerin, which is a wonderful uh, humectant. So use it. So they still have to take care of their hair just the same way. 
Okay, I think Yaba Shogunla is saying that uh, maybe dandruff. She said white dusts. I think that's okay. That. Maybe she means maybe she means dandruff. Okay. Actually, yeah. this is this is one of the argument we are uh, topics that we are treating in natural black and beautiful group, and uh, we have been treating it since last week, talking about dandruff. And first of all, we try to understand what are the causes of dandruff. And the first thing we saw was dryness, having drying scalp. And this happens especially when you wear a style for like four weeks, uh, six, seven weeks without washing your hair, without letting water ever touch your hair. Then we have many ladies who don't drink enough water. We're supposed to be drinking about eight cups of water every day. So that will maintain, will keep our scalp to be moisturized. Another reason could be using wrong products, products that are too harsh on our scalp, products that are too strong, products that maybe we are allergic to it, so it's causing the dandruff. Uh, the, what are the ways we can take care of it? First of all, to use a good shampoo, a clarifying shampoo, like the African black soap we spoke about, is a very good clarifying shampoo. Then another remedy could be to do um, warm oil treatment warm oil treatment you do it before you shampoo so it, on dirty hair you warm up your favorite oil which could be extra virgin olive oil which could be castor oil which could be coconut oil argan oil jojoba oil the one that you you like you warm it a little bit then you wet your hair with water and then you apply the warm oil on your scalp and on your hair you cover it and keep it for about 30 minutes before you go to shampoo Another way to avoid dandruff is also to do apple cider vinegar rinse. So that one, you do it on clean hair. When you have finished deep condition, you do like uh, one part apple cider vinegar and two parts water. So you don't use the apple cider vinegar raw on the scalp. It's too hard. You mix it with water and that is good. Scalp massage with tea tree oil can also prevent and solve um, um, the issue of dandruff. I used to have dandruff a lot when I was relaxed, a lot of dandruff. I would do a style and after two days, the style looked like I did it two months before because of the dandruff. But since I went natural and I was very conscious on taking care of my hair regularly, everything stopped. Okay, thank you so much. I hope uh, Ruth answered your question satisfactorily. Will that be any different for hair care for children and adults? Or is the same? No, it depends from the age. But for children, I always recommend to keep it as simple as possible because I, I personally believe that the first thing for children is to be healthy and to be children. So let's not stress them too much with especially heavy hairstyles. You know, I see kids of one year, having um, attachments and all those things. Let's leave those hair and those follicles to be alone. So just keep it simple, wash it, shampoo, then add your oil or your living conditioner and do simple style. You know, those styles that our, our mothers used to do to us when we were young, when we were small, without attachments, without mm -hmm. anything too much, just those ones. Okay, thank you so much for that. Final question before I let you go. Some people are of, of opinion that uh, natural hair is political, like mm -hmm. uh, it's a form of feminism. It's a it's a form of um, we are just trying to be rebellious to okay, you won't dictate to me to manipulate my hair. I am natural. This is me. This is who I am. That is actually a political statement. What is your opinion? I really like to know. Well, this, I have to confess, this is the first time I'm hearing this. And oh, it's very strange because, because I was born with this hair. So why should it be, a, why should it be taken to a political, to a matter of feminism? I was born this way. And uh, we should go back into history and understand mm -hmm why women started to relax their hair, why women started to put such a dangerous products on their hair and scalp. That was because we were robbed from our identity. Our, our great grandmothers didn't relax their hair. Their hair was natural and it was normal. So if we are returning 
to knowing ourselves and especially loving ourselves the way we are why should that be seen as a political thing when i was young and my hair used to be relaxed and i used to do braids every time i was ashamed of my hair when going out i wanted my hair to be braided with attachments having it long like my like my school friends who were italians i wanted it that way i didn't love myself now i do i appreciate my afro i appreciate my natural hair my twist mm -hmm. why is that political i think some people are just you know just saying talking like that to to create arguments thank you that has no foundation mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> okay ruth what would be your final word my final word to the women and men that are watching us is that our hair is our crown. Our head actually is our crown. Mm -hmm. So it's true that I'm natural, but at the end, each and every one of us must be comfortable in the skin and in the, in the hair in which we are. So either you have natural hair or you have uh, relaxed hair or you have text lax hair or you have no edges or you have head without any hair just know that you are always natural black and beautiful beautiful classy lady d is here to support you she says she's a yeah. member of black and beautiful all the way from the u.s thank you so yeah. much classy lady d thank you for for coming and i want to say thank you ruth for, for coming on board out of uh, i know italy is kind of so tough now emotionally psychologically I, I know it's everywhere if we can be feeling this way in ireland i know Italy is kind of maybe multiplied by five but there you are you are still here thank you so much for for giving us this tutorial for kind of i i, I it's, it's like i've learned a lot today a lot of new things and i'm going to start putting them into practice and i'm sure I've seen a lot of comments that I'm learning t new things today. Okay, someone got an uh, answer to a dandruff question. Tinu Satisfied said, thank you so much for this. I'm learning thank a lot you. of new ways. Thank you. That's Mich Michelle. You know, a lot of people, Papa Ali said, I'm enjoying this. Thank you for the program. Thank you for coming. You know, a lot of ladies, natural hair gang, we appreciate you. Thank you so Thank much for you. coming on board, Ruth. We really appreciate you and have a wonderful day. Thanks to you, Islamia. I really appreciate the invite and uh, it was it was actually my pleasure. Thank you for the wonderful job you are doing for the women and the men all over the world. May God bless you. Amen. And you too. Thank ciao, you. Ciao. Thank ciao. you, darling. <laughs> Bye. Okay, that was Ruth there, and I think we learned a thing or two more than that. I learned about more than th more than a thing or two tonight, and it's been an absolute pleasure to to have her on the show. You, Ruth McCarthy lives in Italy. She's from originally from Ghana, and she the, she is the CEO of a Natural Beautiful Black and Beautiful Natural Black and Beautiful. And if you are not on the group on Facebook, I think it's about time to start uh, to follow that group, to be a member of that group, because you will learn a lot of things every day. I've been an inactive member, but I promise now, now that we are in the lockdown, I promise to be more active. I need to visit that group every day because we have a lot of things to learn if we want to maintain our natural hair. And with that, I want to thank you so much, everybody, for being part of the podcast. If you know friends who we need this, that are not able to join us live, you can share this with them. I think it is very, very important for us to know. We don't want to go without hair after the lockdown, and we don't even know how long it, it will take. So share this with your friend. Let them benefit like you have benefited. Thank you so much, everyone, for being part of the podcast today. 
you are highly appreciated. Classy Lady D, thank you. Your Michelle Demo, thank you so much. Ajia Joke Ayaba Ogala, I appreciate you for all the time. Sister Fasa Ali, thank you so much, ma'am. Sister Iyabo Shogunle, thank you so much. My darling sister Tino Ogunle Yomulara, thank you so much. Alaja Fola Shade Fatima Ayokojo, thank you so much. And with that, I want to say good evening once again and have a wonderful night rest. And please keep safe. Obey the uh, obey all the guidelines. You know what to do when you are feeling unwell. Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of your kids. Take good care of your family. Take good care of yourself. And don't forget to always love yourself. We are beautiful. We are natural. We are we rock. Thank you so much, everyone. Good night.